on Paris Pesa, you can enjoy up to 200,000 Naira bonus on your first deposit when you register with our promo code Fast Tribe. Since this season, you know, say, I don't cry past my laugh. My cry as a Manchester United legendary fan, don't be past my laugh. Every football fan, Tribe fan, no say, if you mention Henry for Wikipedia, we think go pump partner, cry. Interesting. If you go to the latest edition of Oxford Advanced Learners, mm. you click Henry mm. and you want to search the meaning, what you see is cry. Tears. Tears. Mm. But you know what the Bible says? Mm. The Bible said that tears, sorrows might endure mm. just for the night. Mm. But in the morning joy. comes joy. Ayo. What's my joy? Mm. Could be mine. No. Could be mine, no. Mm -hmm. Social media is a disadvantage to this generation. It's also an advantage to those who fail to abuse it. It depends on how you want to. Because if you have YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, ticking, talking, whenever they, when I say I do and die, if then they, two, the last 1990, if then they die, Mind you for sacrilegious after three years. The pressure on football clubs and managers in this current century is very high. Then 2004 after, no help matter. That is why when a player fails to score goal, Opta will come out and tell you his interception and his defensive ability. Short block. They, 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 they show you how a goalkeeper give two assists in a season yeah. and give her ten cheap goals. They're not going to see that one. That is what Opta does. Yeah. But am I a happy man? I'm a happy man. Yeah. I'm a happy man. Why I be a happy man? I say, when you want to play Arsenal on top of the league yeah. and you are sitting eight, the last time I sat there, yeah. I wasn't born. The last time United lost nine games in a season at Old Trafford, 1973-74 season. This is our worst season as a football club. Because why? We've lost 14 games at Old Trafford and we are finishing eighth. But guess what? Some people don't finish 10, finish 12. You get? But that is what you get when you have shame, when you have record, when you have history. You know? Waiting people don't see plenty. If it happens to you once, you go the verse. Because you shouldn't be there. Because no reasonable retired president can contest cancellorship election. Exactly. It's a disgrace to his CV. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell my you fans. If you have ever in your life said, sack Eric Ten Hag, maybe in your subconscious mind, I'm going to forgive you. But at the same time, if you have ever said, sack Eric Ten Hag, in your clean mind, I don't want to insult you now, but I'm saying, have everything. Because the big room was never built in a day. Today we lost to Arsenal 1-0. Yeah. Then the top league with the number eight. Yeah. The manager standing in their dugout is Mikel Ateta. Yeah. He took over Arsenal mid-season. Yeah. He finished eight. Yeah. In his first full season, he finished eight. Yeah. That's Ateta for you. Mm -hmm. But today, after Pep Guardiola, I can't call club. It's an elderly man who should be a who should be a sporting director somewhere. <laughs> so after Pep, it's Mikel Ateta. When you want to rank managers today, he is nowhere because he is the only thing there. He's a fake up. But consistency has made him a good manager because Arsenal fans outside Godfrey had faith in him, yeah. and that faith they had in him is paying off. That is one. So let's talk about sacking Eric Ten Hag. If Manchester United is to sack Eric Ten Hag today, we will spend £21 million to let him and his coaching crew go. If we are to get a new manager, I don't know who we are getting, I'm just assuming, we will spend at least £15 million to get a new manager. Plus and minus how much we don't spend? £36 million. Is it good for a football club that's crying financial fair play? No. If I am a player, I have one year contract in my one year in my contract. 
and I'm playing well, and you want to sign me, and my club say 80, you price 50, my club say no, what will you do? You wait and watch me run down that contract and come for free. Kylian Mbappe. So now, if you don't have money to get Kim in jail, you couldn't sign Frankie De Young mm -hmm. and so many other players because of financial fair play. You ended up getting an about on loan. Mm -hmm. Who are you then uh -huh. to spend 21 million pounds to let a manager who has one year his contract mm -hmm. to go when you know that you can allow him to run down that one year contract and see what will happen? Can I tell you something? If Eric Tehal happens to be a player last season, mm -hmm. United would have renewed his contract after last season. Exactly. But he had a fantastic season. Yeah. Because I, I believe in long-time planning. You are not where you are today because of short-time planning. You are where you are today because of long-time planning. Mm -hmm. So what class Richard men we know today, last 10, 20 years, they were beggars. They were looking for fun. Yeah. They were sourcing for fun. Banks were rejecting them. Yeah. But today they are flying high. That is what, that is what faith and patience gives you. So any United fan, when they call say Sakeri, I go, make, I go I remind them, say, last season, Last season, we finished third in the first season. From Dutch League to Premier League, we finished third, we qualified Champions League. Ateta in his first season finished eighth. Are you getting me now? So, then you come into this season now. If you watch Man U January, February, when we, when we did, I say, injuries, we are back. We did well. Those key players went back injured. Then we went back to status quo. So what it means is that, if Eric Ten Hag has his full squad, injury free, it won't be where we are today. There's no argument about it. So you won't hold him accountable for signing some players that are now I'm, injury free. I'm, I'm going there. In my last interview, I said there is no way you can single-handedly blame Eric Ten Hag. It's a shared blame. Mm -hmm. You blame Eric Ten Hag, you blame the players for not playing for the badge, you blame the club, the, the club owners. Because this is the first time since 2005 United is getting the partial owner who is a football lover. The Glazer family has never been football lovers. They are merchandisers. They want to make money and go home. But now we have a, boy, a, like a childhood Manchester United fan who have come into United owing 25% of United shares. Today, he came to Ottawa before me. No big drama. He get why. If you check the kind of things we are doing now, these are the things we should have done 10 years back. But we believe in signing big players, paying big money. In the last 10 years, Manchester United has the highest net spending. In the last 10 years, we have the highest net spending. What has it fetched us? In the last 10 years, Chelsea has won Premier League, won Champions League. Where are we? Zero. When people deserve credit, you, go, you guys give it to them. So if Chelsea in the last 10 years has won Champions League, won Premier League, and will spend a billion plus, no Champions League, no Premier League, why should we continue to spend? When we can look into our academy, where we can negotiate well and get players, go, do good deals. Instead of to pay 45 million pounds on Hoyland, we pay 75. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that the current setup coming to United now will go to Spain yeah. and negotiate 60 something million pounds, four or five years contract on a 30 years old Casimiro. Yes, yes. Currently, it's not going to happen. So when we want to blame, let's share the blame. Eric Teha cannot be the escape god. It's not done anywhere. Because he, he had a better first season than even Alex Ferguson. So United fans should be very patient with, with Eric Teha and Radcliffe coming in. Let's talk about the game now. Did my United make Arsenal play bad or what, what do you think? At the time you hear say, if my Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Chelsea, Liverpool sign you as a player, Despite whom you are, you can be a Kaka, you can be a Ronaldo de Lima, you can be a Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi. So long as this club sign you, it's a privilege. Because growing up as somebody who wants to be a footballer, it's a dream to play in those big clubs. So when they sign you, you have to play for the badge. We have a problem of character and discipline. We have players who have refused to play for the badge. So how can you explain to me now that United lost to Let's say, um, um, Nottingham Forest. Crystal Palace beat us first. Our, our biggest defeat in the season. Now, Nottingham Forest, not Liverpool, not Chelsea, not, Man, not Liverpool, not Man, Crystal Palace. Then we lost 4 0. Then, after seven days, we lost to 1 0 to people who are dreaming to win the league. What does it show? It shows a team that switches on when they like 
and switches off when they like because there is no repercussion. This Amrabat, where we watch today, now the one where we watch for World Cup, where man you go loan come. But he looked around. There was no price to pay. He sat back against City. We were playing well until he came in. We were losing 2-1. Then he came in and gave out a go, give, give a go out. He gave a ball as it resulted to a goal, 3-1. Mm -hmm. Now look at Ganacho today. Ganacho is doing whatever he's doing in Manchester United because there is no competition. Mm -hmm. Outside Martinelli. Martinelli was like Ganacho last season. Yeah. Now Trossard is there. Who they start? An elderly man like Trossard is starting ahead of him because of his selfishness. Yeah. Now why is he afraid? Today he nearly got a goal when he came in. Because in does he say, person they play ahead of him. Yeah. But now in our own case, Ganacho is better than the man who's supposed to play ahead of him. Mm -hmm. Ganacho has seven league goals and four assists, compared to Rashford, who has been gifted penalties on several occasions just to boost his, boost his morale. Mm -hmm. So lack of competition, lack of discipline has been our problem. But in this game, in, you can see that happen. If he say, Arsenal play the way they play, because United were there maybe to spoil their day. And Ateta knew. So luckily for them, on the 20th minute, Casimiro and Wan Bissaka switched off. Their clinical finisher, their best finisher, Trossard got that goal. I thought inside the man would have said, we'll have a goal. They have selfish attackers who cannot finish well. Let's wait for them. So let's wait for them. And it worked. Then on the flip side, there is a possibility of United going up and losing 4-1. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So you cannot say they played the way they played because... United made them play that way. No. They played what they played because of their game. That was their game plan. Let's, that goal should have come earlier before 20th minutes. But United were able to soak that early pressure. Yeah. After that five minutes pressure, we played the 18th minute. Then they got that chance yeah. and scored that goal. And it's, after that, for him, might go say, we don't score. This is United. The comeback story is no longer working for now. Mm -hmm. Let's sit back. We are better than them. We have so many clinicians. Saliba and Gabriel can do it. And it worked for them. So to me, what happened was that it, the, the, the reason to how they played was the goal they scored the 20th minute. Nice one. And then Newcastle and Brighton to come in. But then um, who would you say <laughs> your final thought? I, I, I think the season should have ended before now. But it can't end until it ends. I don't want United to finish seventh. I don't want United to finish sixth. I want United to finish eighth. It might not help us during the next season because we'll be playing one game in a week. Yeah. It will deny the opportunity to know who can play well on a bigger stage yeah. or who cannot. But in Manchester United, another big club, who are no longer big, cannot celebrate playing in Europa or Conference League. Mm -hmm. It's either Champions League. If Aston Villa can be in Champions League, United have no reason fighting to play Europa or Conference League. Mm -hmm. So I expect another switch off against Newcastle by midweek. Because today Arsenal lacked players who are physical. Thomas Pate was not that physical today. So, so Mino ran that midfield ahead of him, which is not normal. On a very good day, there shouldn't be no Mino when we talk Thomas Pate. But football happened, fitness and other things happened. He ran the midfield. But you, you can't expect a Mino to go and rub shoulder with the likes of uh, um, Bruno Guimaraes them and Joe Linton them. It's not going to happen. So I expect United to switch off again. So the best thing that can happen to me as a Mayu fan since we are ready to break out our good record and set bad ones, let's maybe lose the next two games. Reserve. See, my warning to Eric Terag is the likes of Bruno Fernandes, the, the Messi Mant, the Luke Shaw, the Martinez shouldn't play again this season. Just leave them. Use Let these ones where they run down the season. And United again, I forgot, United again as a football club should look into two things. Our training pattern and our medical team. These two things are very important. You can't sack Eric Terhag and return the doctors and Rashford. Mm. And at the same time, the way we train should also be looked into. Because there is, I think it's, it's abnormal, unless you've not played football, for people to go to training and train for more than 45 minutes. Yeah. It's abnormal. And the training should not be that intense. Under Alex Ferguson, if you watch our training those days, it's not that intense. We go to training, we exercise, we, like we, we flex. We do no matter, so we go home. Because at the end of the day, the last of David Beckham them knows what to do. So there is no need for that intense training. The other day I saw a, a video footage where somebody like uh, Martinez was just come back after training. He was bleeding. <laughs> he was bleeding on the foot. And somebody said, they don't come again, no. So I don't know the way we train. And I don't know the quality and the level of professionalism in respect to our doctors. So these things should be looked into. But in terms of our season and the next two games, if we can lose them and finish it, 
I have no problem. Because finishing 8 is at the same time as finishing 9 and 10. It has no problem. But I pray if there's anything we can do to better our season, come next season, that will be better for us. Thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our videos where you supposed to like and all our social media links. I mean, follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.